Welcome to Swordbox Ministries. Mickey continues with part 8 of our family series. Our verse for the day is James 1 4. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Well, welcome back to Swordbox. You know, while our contact with our child who has run away from home may be limited, we are dealing with them according to truth as well as extending to them mercy. You know, we've done just as Proverbs 3 3 says, and we've bound mercy and truth around our necks. And we cannot control the environment they have now chosen to be in, the advice they're getting, the influences that are surrounding them, and we're probably not even aware of what's going on for the most part in their day to day lives. We can only imagine, and I seriously do not recommend that we dwell on that for very long. It will only cause you harm and will accomplish nothing. You know, back when my son first began to get in trouble, something that I realized that I would need, not only for my own sanity, but also in dealing with him, as well as some of the unpleasant situations that were going on, is that I needed to develop patience. It's something none of us really enjoy, you know, just like when you're doing laundry. You have to have patience to give the laundry time to dry. And some of us just don't have a lot of patience. It's not something that comes naturally to us. In fact, we are all born naturally very impatient. Uh, the more the difficult, the more difficult the situation, the more difficult we find it to be patient. Unfortunately, it takes trials and tribulations to develop patience. We don't just wake up one day and have all the patience required for life. Romans 5.3 says, But we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces patience. You know, little children have very little patience. But we as adults expect a quite a different amount of patience from another adult. Uh, they should have developed patience as they matured over time. Uh, certainly when we're dealing with a runaway child, your patience is going to be tested in every way. Those who work with disabled or, or mentally challenged kids uh, have a great deal of patience. If you've ever watched them, you know, they have to have that in order to deal with what they're dealing with. To do something over and over and over again in a very patient, uh, simple way uh, and then have very little results oftentimes. And, uh, you know, this would completely frustrate most people. Uh, but a parent dealing with a wayward child, uh, someone who's run away, is going to experience some of the similar frustrations. You know, you want your child home now. You want your child safe now. You want your child to do right now. But the truth is, you can't control any of that. You can't just shut everything out and not care. And you certainly don't want to let your emotions control you. So we must learn to practice patience. We must patiently trust God to protect our child, to work in their hearts, and to bring them back home. You know, we can get fed up with our child and just quit. Uh, but we must continue if we love them, if we want to see them come home and do right. Uh, we must continue to endure, to persevere through the storm, all the while learning to lean on the strength and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. We will no doubt have our patience stretched far beyond what we thought possible. But James 1 4 says, Let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. But we first must be patient in our own minds, putting our trust in God alone and not our circumstances. Then we can respond with patience towards that wayward child, not losing our temper, not giving up, not allowing the behavior to control us, but allowing God's Holy Spirit to control us. And God promises through the, one of the fruits of His Spirit as we abide in Him is patience. And we can count on Him to give us the patience we need to endure the difficult trial. I think your laundry's done by now, so you can probably pull it out. God bless you. We'll see you back here tomorrow.